This video covers percentage error, an important concept in IB Maths AI Topic 1, Number and Algebra. Now, percentage error usually appears once in an exam session, either in Paper 1 or Paper 2. Usually, it's the last part of an exam question whereby an estimated answer is given, an exact answer is given, and you need to compare the two using percentage error. So let's work through an example to see how it works. I estimate that there are 450 jelly beans in a jar. There are actually 500. So therefore, I have a difference between my estimation and the exact. What's the percentage error of my estimate? Okay, so let's work through this formula here. The symbol for percentage error is this epsilon symbol here. That's a Greek letter, epsilon. So the the percentage error is equal to, and I have these vertical lines here, you can see in the formula, and just to uh, emphasize, this formula is in your AI formula booklet. But this, these vertical lines here mean the absolute value. And the absolute value means whatever is inside the vertical lines, if it turns out to be negative, just simply turn it back into a positive. That's all that means. Now, inside the absolute value symbols, there is a fraction and it is equal to, on the numerator, the approximate value, so my, my estimate, my approximation was 450, subtract the exact value. Now the exact value in this example is 500, divided by the exact value again, 500, close the absolute value symbol, and then multiplied by 100, and that's just to simply turn this into a percentage, otherwise it'd be a decimal answer. So multiplied by 100%. Okay, let's find out what the result of this fraction is, and, it, and if it is a negative, we just simply turn it into a positive, even just mentally turn it into a positive, that's fine, or if you want to actually turn it into a positive in your calculator, you can just multiply it by negative one, and then we multiply by 100. So let's go find the result of the fraction. So this will be 450, subtract 500, divided by 500 is equal to, and I'm going to convert this to a decimal, is negative 0.1. So you can see here the result is negative. If I want to uh, turn this into a positive, like I said, just multiply by negative one and I get 0.1. Now let's multiply by 100 to turn this into a percentage. That is equal to 10, 10%. So therefore, the percentage error of my estimate when I estimated that there were 450 jelly beans was 10%. Someone with a better guessing um, capability might have said uh, they think there was 490 jelly beans and the percentage error would be less. It might only be, say, 1%. Or a really bad estimator might say that there was 750 jelly beans and their percentage error would be a lot higher. It might be 20 or 30%. So you can see there that, that, that the percentage error is a useful tool to understand just how far off an estimate is. Okay, that was an example. Let's now go try this on an IB exam question. In this question here, we're going to answer part C. Now part C asks, calculate the percentage error in Sasha's estimate. And we are told that Sasha's estimate is 0 0.03. So my, gotta be careful here with the letters because E actually saying, uh, actually stands for exact in the formula. So my approximation, VA, is 0 0.03. My exact value, I found that back in part A. The exact value of F, that's this number here, is 0 0.0375. So now that I have that, I can apply the percentage error formula to find the percentage error of Sasha's estimates. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we have the approximate value is 0 0.03. Subtract the exact value, 0 0.0375, all divided by the exact value, 0 0.0375. And then we multiply that by 100 to turn it into a percentage, and then we find this out. Okay, I calculated this in advance. You can see these last three lines of working here is, is what was required to find this answer. And my percentage error, or sorry, Sasha's percentage error was 20%. Okay, 
That there is the answer to part C, which answers this IB exam question. And that concludes our video on percentage error.